can clearly see that in fact you were able to obtain a reference. Excellent, Anderson. Before we begin, I need to freshen up. Would you buy me a bottle of rose water? It's urgent. Oi! Oi, it's three silver shillings, Mr. Anderson. Here you are, Mr. Anderson. Have you got a little friend? Cakes! Buy your cakes here. Only two silver shillings, lovely cakes. Ah, my rose water. Well done. Behold, step into the world of theatre. Romeo, would you be so kind as to enlighten Anderson? I, an actor, must prepare. It's very easy. Grandus stands on stage preparing himself, okay? When he says hark, it's because you've got to make a sound from one of these machines over here. Understood? Sometimes he'll say, behold, and then we'll want a specific background. Understood? All right, here he comes. If you can make a right fool of the old Wimbo, I will donate my rat to you. Ah! Romeo! Apprehend that rat! Slay it! Do something! <laughs> Recital by Copius Grandus. That is I. Behold! Where yon forest is green and fair. Joy to wander in the lap of nature's dovetails. Hark, a nightingale. The hedge is happy. But hark, my heart yearns. Behold! In these wild mountains, Shelter from the wrath of the weather gods. Hark! The god of thunder roars! Hark! A gust of wind approaching! Where was I? 
Will you find me lost? Amongst the bears and ravenous wolf. Oh, woe is me. Oh, hear my cry. Shall I never more the forest floor wander? <laughs> oh, woe is me. <laughs> oh, howl my fate. Oh, howl my fate. But shush. Hark, the shrill and gay bird song.
our salvation's fluffy throat. Bravo! What a cock-up. Anderson, you lack the required sensitivity to be a thespian. You may take that thing there as a memento. Farewell. Here you go. Good for scaring fine ladies and stupid boys with. <laughs>